as the language war rages on, the divide between North and South is clear and palpable. Not just Janata, but Netas and Abhinetas have waded into the tempest, vociferously champion, uh, championing their cause, while uh, Bollywood top actors bag Hindi as a national language. Their contemporaries in Sandalwood, Tollywood and Kollywood take up cudgels for, uh, for diversity as the pride of India. Listen in to superstar Kicha Sudeep on this language war debate. This is a special broadcast on Times Now. Joining me is someone who actually does not need any introduction. Uh, Kicha Sudeep has completed more than two and a half decades in the film and entertainment industry. He is now with us. Uh, thank you, Sudeep, for speaking to Times Now. I want to begin by asking you, your career has been great. You've completed 26 years. Uh, congratulatory messages are pouring in from fans and admirers. How does it feel? It does feel good. You know, when we started the journey, we just started the journey. We didn't know how many miles we were going to be traveling, though. So today, when you look at it, when it's, and just when I'm hearing the number again from your mouth, I think it, it sounds even more huge, and it's like, wow. Yeah, I had actually, just before we started the conversation, I just had my meal, and I came and sat. I was just kind of feeling normal, and suddenly it made me feel good. I was like, 26 years, I, I'm hearing it after a long time again. So yeah, it's, it's a good, great feeling, sir. Now, be I've, been, around, I've been reading, uh, you know, some of uh, the recent comments you've made. And, you know, in one of your recent interviews, you said that as an actor, you still have that hunger to perform and achieve things. Let me ask you what drives this uh, motivation and hunger. I don't think you need any motivation from the external sources. I guess if you love your life, you'll, you'll have enough motivation to do better. Why do you need anything, inspire, anything to inspire you? I think you should inspire yourself. I think it's about right it's about us so yeah every morning i wake up yeah i i still feel there's a little more to do and little more yet to do so i guess you know that, that's enough for us now let me get to the question that really you know is on everyone's mind uh, the prime minister's comment i'm sure you've uh, uh, heard about it uh, on the entire language debate has added a new dimension he hailed regional languages and said that his, his government has given importance to all regional languages. How do you see this? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Actually, from yesterday, I've been speaking about it. And I think it's a, it's a very warm, welcoming line made by the Honorable Prime Minister. And uh, that's a very, uh, uh, very soothing thing to hear among, for everyone. See, because I guess this is one nation of its kind which has got so many languages so many and each language close to the people of the to which the language belongs so i guess it's it's a it's a very warm welcome to everybody and uh, i'm no different either so i guess uh, it's, it's it was nice to hear those minds now how do you see the government's role in uh, what you say ensuring justice for all language uh, promotion for all language do you see that uh increasing or do you think that uh, the government should stay out of it so i guess it's got uh, it's, it's just an individual thought and a process i guess because uh, i personally feel that you know every language has got its own uh, cultural uh, uh, connect it has got its own aesthetics and i guess each one uh, connected to that particular language are doing so many things because of which the language grows a language doesn't grow by itself sir I don't think you just sit at home and you just say we have a language and government should help us grow. I don't think it will grow by that. I think it's, it's got its own ability to survive and strength to grow. I guess we should depend on that more than the government. That's a great thought. Well said. Uh, can I take you back uh, to the controversy that happened uh, over tweet by Ajay Devgan and you responded back and forth. Uh, we almost <laughs> saw a confrontation. Uh, how do you look back now? <laughs> So it, I was smiling then, I'm smiling now. I mean, uh, there was nothing of a controversy of sorts. Sir. I mean, uh, see, uh, there was something I said on, on a stage where half the world was not there. I mean, many, many people were not there. So I guess what reached them was all interpretations and context. And yeah, he when he tweeted uh, in Hindi, I got his point though. But then it was not surrounding a language. It was surrounding the fact that when the people are saying Pan-India, they're thinking that because we're dubbing in, India, in, in Hindi, it's, go, it's called Pan-India. It is not that. Pan-India is anything. That's what I'm trying to say from that time. Even Hindi, when it is dubbing in Tamil, Telugu, it's Pan-India. Because it has already started mother, mother language. The motherboard of the, that particular film is Hindi. 
they think it is not pan india it is pan india and i'm trying to say it is welcome it they should do they should do in all languages too but when it is coming and terming only uh, films coming from here as pan india it was not something which is uh, practically right also i think somebody needed to define that and say no it isn't so you know that is where it all started from and then uh, while sitting there one of the people uh, they also had this uh, thought that maybe it is a it is a national language i said no no it is not it was not and what is happening is hindi is also one of the primary languages to to one language through which many people connect across india either it is hindi or english you know one one uh, two common uh, languages through which everybody connect and communicate rather so because of which a uh, couple of years back and decades back if you say take a uh, hindi held a primary market of indian cinema the main market you can call it but today i guess it's times have changed where you know with the uh, coming in of lot of ott platforms to everything people getting exposed to other languages every kind of language and uh, welcoming every kind of language as long as you're telling a good story people are ready to listen absolutely so this is where we come from sir yeah and i just want to pick up uh... pick on the comment that you had made you you know you were talking about the astounding success of uh, regional films uh, pan india something that you also uh, you know uh, talked about uh, right now and that is the thing that you know look at the success of uh, some of the films from uh, outside of the hindi film industry or bollywood as it is called come again i didn't get your question sir the phenomenal success of films made outside the hindi film industry or bollywood is uh, a proof of the point that you just said see why i'm saying is i'll tell you i personally look at it as a as a point that you know they are getting exposed to newer thoughts see what is happening with us let me tell you in south we were we are we were exposed to hindi from decades and we were exposed to telugu or tamil or malayalam everything but on a north indian belt think uh, these films were only coming in televisions or when they were dubbed in certain channels or cables or however you want to look at it theatrical uh, penetration is happening now it's only now that theatrical penetrations are happening i think this is huge so when theatrical penetrations are happening these films are looking new you know the the conceiving part of a script the narrative part the storytelling style everything is kind of coming new and i think that is what they're getting exposed to and that's what's working now how do you respond to the comments of you know other actors uh, you know influencers around the language debate i'm sure not just as an actor as an individual uh, as the citizen of this uh, wonderful country what are your thoughts i actually have not gone through what others have been saying because i'm very little on social media i only say what i want to say and i cut off so i i actually don't get into such uh, debates and stuff like that but i guess you know each one has got their opinion and uh, probably you can uh, like identify what exactly you're talking about because i have not gone through any but if everybody is having an opinion i think they have the rights to express that opinion sir i guess uh, something wrong in that and also the fact that there is now a raging debate on what should the linked language be many people are saying that look english uh, is fit to be the linked language let's settle the debate who's this day sir i don't know see i think it's individuality like now right now times i'm speaking to times i can't speak to you in uh, in because i know kannada i can't speak to you in kannada and because probably you may know bengali or uh, marathi you may speak i it doesn't work that way na no? we choose our languages according depending on the situation you know it's it's, uh, it's about a situation what what works at that particular time see we all we all came out with languages so that you know we all as human beings can connect communicate and express what our ideas and thoughts are you know so we are we are, we are no longer those babies where you know we feel hungry you cry and mother understood what you wanted so we needed a language and we all came out with languages and i guess that's how it's working i guess it's just a situation like oh, probably after you somebody calls me for an interview and if they are doing hindi i think i'll speak in hindi to the best ability i guess it's done i mean uh, there is no particular a uh, person the in indian uh, india has appointed to decide for the rest of the india i guess people know what they want and they are communicating very well actually see languages are already born R- languages are already existing in india they cannot be another new thing that can come up and we all can be imposed on that right so i guess it's there it's existing you like picking up any one particular language which belongs to india and saying this has to be the one i think uh, there will definitely be an opposition from all the other languages as well so i guess uh, it it is okay the way it is 
Now, is it more politics or you think because uh, of pressure from the public? If I understood politics the way it is, sir, I don't think I would be giving interview this way. Probably would be Rajya Sabha dealing with something else right now. I understand very little of politics and I think it took me 26 years and I still haven't understood the politics of cinema. Forget the main things. So it doesn't work for me that way. I just know I wake up in the morning, I communicate to my people what I want. Then my director has written the language, which I need to just go speak in the set and I come back and there are people around me who understand what I speak and my day ends there. And I'm sorted. Okay. Now, do you think as a country we should, uh, this is uh, again, uh, Sudeep, uh, on the linked language uh, issue and you said that you don't, you don't know who these people are who are talking about that uh, certain language should be made a linked language. Uh, English uh, is something that people have uh, voted for as, uh, as the linked language, as the language that is, you know, said, said, spoken and understood by a lot of people. Do you believe uh, as a country there should be a policy to have a linked language? See, as a country, there should be, there should have been a something probably, uh, it should have happened way, 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 you know, centuries long back, centuries back. Now, we are already in 2022 and everything is all done and dusted, sir. I think it is there. Everything is existing and you can't erase anything or you can't, you know, add anything right now. And if people want, I mean, if government is looking at dealing with certain things, I think there are a lot many more issues what the common man is facing than just the language per, thing per se. I think that should be attended to than this. Otherwise, I think we are all there. If you go back to go out today, there's everything already done and everything has a positioning already. So there's nothing that can be altered now. It's too late to alter anything. We were talking to Nawazuddin Siddiqui Sudeep uh, and, uh, you know, he was speaking to Times Network and he said, look, uh, what I admire about uh, the film industries in South is that uh, everybody on the set speaks in the regional language. Here I go to the set and it's I'm doing a Hindi film and uh, people are speaking to me in English. Half of it I don't understand. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, such, such, uh, you, will, you, will, you, will, you will encounter such things in many places. You know, I've also come to Mumbai when I've been working there. It's, it's, uh, it's I'm, actually that part, I, actually, I, I should say that uh, I'm happy if somebody speaks in English or Hindi to me. Sometimes I, I hear other languages as well, and I don't I don't understand. That doesn't mean they're wrong. See, I have decided to work there, sir. It is my choice that I've come there to work. I can't blame people for that. If I can't understand, I can't blame people for that. And I think Nawazuddin, sir, has got a, a very uh, one side of a sense of humor he has in personal life, I guess. And he, I, whenever I see his interviews, this is how he speaks. And I guess, yeah, I can understand where he's coming from. But I guess it is what it is. I think we should start understanding. I'm, I'm sure, but one thing is for sure, he still communicates. Though he doesn't understand much of English, I'm very sure they're all understanding what he wants. No, no, he was only talking about, you know, the pride uh, that people take, uh, you know, in film industries, other than the Hindi film industry, in speaking the regional language. So he was being positive about that. Yes, yes. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm only talking about him. I'm talking about, I actually, the moment you said this, I connected to what he must be going through and I was talking all this. But yes, down here, sir, we all, we all speak in our languages and it's not, it's not a regulation. Or it is not even that uh, because it is ours, we have to speak. No, it comes naturally for us. For us, it just comes naturally that we go on to the set and we start, start speaking Kannada. We start, whether it is in Andhra, they suddenly, they speak in, they, they come out and they only know to speak in Telugu. In Tamil Nadu, it is only Tamil. It is just an inheritance, sir. It is actually, we are, we are programmed for that. Right. And now, uh, allow me to ask you this. Have you had uh, a phone conversation with Ajay Devgan or, you know, something that you would like to share with our uh, viewers? Yes, sir. I, I had high hopes of working with uh, Kajol, ma'am. I just, that, that doesn't get disturbed because of the streets. That's all it is, <laughs> I can say. <laughs> I have nothing. No, we have only converse once when he was in uh, Ramoji Film City uh, and I was also shooting there and uh, sir, he's a thorough gentleman, I should say he's a thorough gentleman. So I guess that has left a very big impression on me even when he was tweeting. So okay. I knew, I knew, I knew how he is as a gentleman, as, as a person. So I even, I think because you know the person well, you also read the tweet in that angle. You know, I didn't see anything. Yeah. But I guess probably uh, whoever uh, gave him um, um, 
insight of my my speech on the stage i guess it, it went wrong the insight was not completely right i can say now finally sudeep i want to ask you this uh, any message that you have for people who say that uh, or who might in the future say that look this language should get more prominence than the others no sir i don't think there are any kind of people who are saying that it is just created by certain segments which suits them i don't think people are see every i have what i keep seeing on the social media and everything i, I guess everybody has got their own and the brain in very much in place i think lot of them know what they are saying and i guess it's a it's a very beautiful country and all the languages are very beautiful i guess we should just communicate and let it be thank you on that uh, beautiful note sudeep uh, always a pleasure speaking to you thank you for your time thank you for speaking to times now thank you sir Goodbye.